January 1st, 2021, I experienced that part of parish as the Lord called my wife on to heaven to be with him. And since that time, I have found this to be so true in my life that a blood donor who died on that cross shed his blood for my sins. And I chose to make him the Lord of my life as I will pursue eternal life with him. And I know that that is happening because he has comforted me through his love shown to me from his, his children who love him and have him already as the Lord of their lives. Every day there's something new that he is bringing to me to reassure me that my lovely wife is residing in heaven with him at this very moment. And uh, to add more to that story is that since January 1st up to this morning, I lost uh, physically four additional members of my family that are followers of Jesus Christ and are now living eternally with him. I lost two nieces, a great nephew, and this morning, my uncle. And the physical pain that comes with that, I'm able to handle that because I know that they are so happy and elated to be living with their Lord and Savior now. So I, I just want to lift you up and, and advise all those that are, that are out there unsure of who this Jesus Christ is. He is the one that loves you unconditionally. So please take a, a chance on him. Go to a church and let God reach out to you. You will not be disappointed. You will be blessed. And when you wake up every morning, wake up being blessed to begin anew and ask Jesus into your heart and he will answer. I just want to say, I am praying for each and every one of you that Jesus Christ will come into your heart and that we can bring heaven to earth until we leave to go to our eternal home. God bless you all.